Okay, so for this one, it says that company takes out a loan of this amount and at an annual effective discount of 5.5%, you are given that the loan is to be repaid with n annual payments, 1.2 million plus a drop payment one year after the nine and the payment. The first payment is due three years after the loan is taken out. Okay, so the first thing is we need to find what n is equal to in order to solve this drop payment concept type of question. But the first thing that we should do is convert the effective discount rate to an annual effective rate just to make things clearer. Because it's not really conventional for us to be working with a discount rate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna so we're going to do the effective interest rate, which is equivalent to 1 minus D discounted one year, right? So we're going to get take the discount rate that they give us here. We're going to do 1 minus 0 0.055. to the negative one, right? Yeah, we're also gonna move the one to the other side so we could find the um, formal annual effective rate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, and do one minus 0 0.055 to the negative one, right? And then minus one. So I is going to be um, 0 0.058201058, which is practically just 5.82%. That's going to be what we're going to work with. Now, the second part is that it says that the first payment is due three years after the loan is taken out. So when is the loan typically taken out at time zero, right? One, two, three. So three years, one, two, three. So this is when the first payment occurs, which means that time two is gonna be our comparison date, right? So what does that necessarily mean? Well, now the second, the third part is that we wanna find what N is equal to, to create this uh, equation, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the outstanding balance occurring at time two. So what is the usual formula to find the outstanding balance at any time? It's just always the amount of the loan times the effective at the time that we are looking for, right? So the loan here is 15 million one plus, we know our effective, so to two years. So let's find our outstanding balance if we're two years. So it'll be 15 million times 1.0582 to the two. Then it's going to be 16. Seven nine six eight zero eight dot six, right? So this is gonna be our outstanding balance at time two, which is mean that which means that we're able to make the whole drop payment equation equal to this amount, right? Since at time two, that is where the outstanding balance is occurring and it was our comparison date since the first payment is due three years after a loan is taken out. Now our typical drop payment will always consist of our annual payments, which is given firsthand of 1.2 million, right? Uh, so, yeah. So, 1.2 million, right? But the thing is, is that we still have to find the number of n payments, right? So that is usually the first step in creating a drop payment. We always find n to always recognize that the n is always like a whole number, but some decimal 
places afterwards, which represents the draw payment that we need to figure out. So it would be the annual payments present value of the N we're trying to solve for at 5.82. And then we're going to set this equal to our thing over here, the comparison date. I'm going to take my calculator. I'm going to do 1.2 million is our payment, 5.82. Eight two as our interest rate, zero as the future value, uh, one six seven nine six eight zero eight dot six as our present value. Now let's compute the number of years. Okay, the number of years I got was twenty nine point seventy nine, which means that the seventy nine point seventy nine part will consist of our little draw payment, right? But 29 payments is our full number because we know that full payments of 1.2 million will occur in the first uh, 29 years. So now, now we're able to actually um, set up our formal uh, present value equation, right? So at comparison date time equals two, we set the equation as 16796.8. Zero eight dot six equal to payments of one point two million a to the full amount of twenty nine to the five point eighty two plus the drop payment that we're trying to figure out. We'll denote it as x, uh, v to the 30, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the TVM calculator to try to find x, right? So I'm going to do 1679 six as a present value, 1.2 million as the uh, payment. 29 is the number of years, zero as, wait, uh, hold on, one, six, seven, nine, six, eight, zero, eight, dot six. Present value, 1.2 million is the payment, 29 is the number of years. 5.82 at the interest rate. Let's compute future value. Hold on for a second. This equation is pretty long. And, uh, so yeah, I'll put one six seven nine six eight zero eight dot six as the present value and two million as the payment thirty as the number of years. Sorry about that five point two. So the answer that I got was uh, somewhere in the 900,000 range. Um, I got 1769689 the present value. Sorry, humans make mistakes. This is just such a long equation. Yes, 
so the future value I got was 906,723.33. So if I look at the answers, I know A's far off, B's far off, C, E, so I just assume that the answer that I got is closest choice D.